Ra -a -a. I cannot believe this. Caillou got himself arrested once again. He just turned 13 years old and is a 7th grader. I am sick of his bullcrap. I am so tired. I am going to hurt my voice by saying oh 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 Caillou how dare you do blah blah blah. That's it you are grounded for a long amount of time. Oh 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 oh. Caillou, how dare you? You know what? I am sick of you keep getting yourself into trouble all the time. What did I do wrong to raise you? I posted your bail, and I will have a serious talk with you once you get home. Don't you dare say a word in my car. Yes, thank you dad. I am finally getting out of this crap hole. Go to your room now. How dare you burn down your classroom in your school and get expelled. Whatever you say hello life. Honey. We need to talk about our son. What should we do? I don't want our son to ruin his life. Also his horrible behavior is taking a toll on our mental health, especially Rosie's. Rosie is very scared of Caillou at this point. We are as well. We shouldn't be scared of our only son. We need to send Caillou to an alternative school. I looked up Plotagon City Alternative School. We also need a family therapist, I will do some research. We will talk more tomorrow, I need to go to bed. Alright. Good night honey. Good night. Doris. I called the alternative school. His class will start next week on Thursday at 8.30 a.m. and end at 2.30 p.m. All right. I got in touch with Dr. Lopez. We will start having sessions very soon, so we can see what we can do to improve our household and our mental health. I have a phone call. It is from Leo's mom. Hello, is this Kayla's father, Bobby? My name is Boris, not Bobby. Anyway, how may I help you ma'am? This is regarding your son. Due to him being a safely risk to my son Leo, I don't want Kayla to be near him until he changes his behavior. I understand Mrs. Smith. Thanks for calling me. Please stay safe out there. Doris. Leo's mom called and she said she doesn't want Leo to be near him for the time being due to him being a criminal. I understand. I am going to tell Rosie about the alternative school and the therapist and those things. I will also tell Caillou about this. Hey dad. What do you need? Rosie. I am sending Caillou to an alternative school which is where bad kids go. I am also hiring a family therapist as well. What exactly is a family therapist? What do they do? A family therapist is a person that can help us with our family struggles, including Caillou's awful behavior and being a criminal at age 13. That's a great idea. Since I am out of school until further notice due to the school getting burnt down by Caillou, we can do this. Now I will tell Caillou about this. I don't know how he will react to this. He will probably yell and break things, but this is for his own good. I recommend you close and lock your door so he can't go into your room. Okay, Dad. What's up, Pops? Caillou. We've decided what we are going to do with you. We are sending you to an alternative school, and we are hiring a family therapist. Ooh. Why are you doing this? I don't need to go to that crappy crap hole of a school, and why do I need a family therapist? We are doing this because we don't want you to throw your life away by doing bad crimes. If you did these things as an adult, then you would have been in jail for life by now. I don't care. 
I will beat you up. I hate you! Good luck. I know how to box and do karate. You don't so don't even try. You can't do that because it is illegal. I know. I am just proving a point. Fighting someone stronger than you is a bad idea. Now, you are going to that school starting on Thursday. Whatever! Now, I am going downstairs. I need to fix the radiator on my truck. Goodbye. How did it go, Boris? Just how I expected. He threatened to beat me up of course, but I didn't get hurt. He is mad at me, but I hope this will improve his behavior. It'll take time. Yeah. I will fix my truck because the radiator is broken. I don't want my old 1984 F-150 to overheat. Okay Boris. It is kinda cold outside right now. By the way, why do you still have that old 80s truck? It looks cool. Ooh. I don't want to go to the alternative school because it sucks. You are going and that is final. Now come into the car now. I want Chuck E. Cheeses, I want Chuck E. Cheeses, I want Chuck E. Cheeses, I want Chuck E. Cheeses. Oh my god. Can you stop ranting about you not going to Chuck E. Cheese's? If you would behave then you would go to that restaurant more often. Hello. I am one of the teachers of the alternative school. We do full classrooms or one-on-one -on -one classes. Since you requested a one-on-one -on -one class, I'll teach Caillou. So please tell me about him. Caillou is 13 years old. He used to be a good kid until he turned 9 and he started to do horrible things like fighting people, poisoning me and the students' food, stealing cars, etc. The straw that broke the camel's back was when he burnt down one of the classrooms of his school. I'll try my best to teach him to be good and handle his out-of-control anger issues. That's my job after all. Every student that went to school turned their life around. I trust you. Caillou go with her to her class. Hello Caillou. My name is Sarah and I am your teacher. Hello Sarah. This class is supposed to help you improve your behavior and help control your anger. Tell me, what bad things did you do? I stole Mr. Hinkle's car to go to Chuck E. Cheese's, burnt down the classroom, escaped the military school, misbehaved at NW, I terrorized the city dressed up as a chicken, I made fake phone calls, I stole Sir Watkins phone, etc. Please tell me why you do this stuff. I do it because it is fun. Also my dad grounds me for an absurd amount of time, so I don't have an incentive to be good. What your dad is doing is stupid, but that is still not an excuse to destroy a school. I hate that school because it sucks. Caillou. Why did you flip a desk? I did it because I am mad that my school sucks. Also I am grounded forever so it doesn't matter. Sit down at a desk right now. Did my son misbehave? Yes he did. He flipped over a desk because he got mad at his old school. <laughs> also, do you ground your son for an absurd amount of time? I won't say absurd. I ground him for 740294720163027 years sometimes. That is absurd, because what is the incentive to be good if he can't redeem himself? I don't know what else to do. Don't ground him for 8, 7, 3, 4, 0, 9, 2, 1, 6 years, that's for dang sure. It is time for me to leave. I have to go home. Goodbye. How did the class go? Not too good. Caillou flipped a desk and I got scolded by the teacher for grounding him for years. Yeah. 
I just wish Caillou improves his behavior. By the way, the therapist appointment is at 5 p.m. It is 4.23. We need to get ready and go into the car. We are also bringing Rosie, right? Yes. Rosie and Caillou, we are going to the therapist building. Let's go into the 1990s Toyota. Hello, Boris. My name is Dr. Lopez, and I am the family therapist. I'd like to talk to the parents first. All right. My son is 13 years old, and he is a 7th grader. He used to be a great kid with good grades. Until he reached the age of 10 and he changed into a delinquent. He did a lot of bad things. Okay, how do you discipline your children? We used to ground him for a few weeks, until his behavior got horrible, and we started grounding him for 8502730173031 years. Are you serious or are you joking around? I am serious. That's the first problem. Grounding your son for an absurd amount of time is a problem, because what is the incentive to be good? Also, do you even go through with your punishments? You should have got him help with his anger issues instead of grounding him like that. Perhaps we are a little lenient. Sometimes we forget the punishments. We ground him for those years again. That's also a problem, because you don't follow through with your punishments. You forget them, and the punishments are absurd. What can we do to punish him? You create a reasonable punishment and correct the bad behavior so he won't do it again. There are multiple punishment ways such as positive reinforcement, taking away privileges for a few weeks or months, etc. I will work on it. Also, his behavior is affecting our mental healths, especially Rosie's. May I talk to Rosie, please? Sure. Hello, Dr. Lopez. My name is Rosie, and I'm 10 years old. How is Caillou's bad behavior affecting you? Like, how do you feel when Caillou misbehaves? When Caillou misbehaves, I get scared because I don't want him to hurt me or my parents or others. He ruins things for me, so I am afraid to find things, because he may ruin it. Also, he destroyed the house multiple times, steals things such as Mr. Hinkle's red Chevy Impala, etc. No one your age should feel like that. As a family therapist, I will try my best to help your family out during these times. Thanks, Dr. Lopez. Let's talk about things. What do you like to do? Like, what are your hobbies? I like to draw anime characters and cartoon characters. I like watching cartoons such as Spongebob, Loud House, Regular Show, Rugrats, etc. I also like playing video games. I sometimes like to watch cartoons, although I haven't heard of the Loud House or Regular Show before. I watch older ones like Doug, Cat Dog, Rocco's Modern Life, etc. Now I'll talk to Caillou. Okay, good luck. Hello. My name is Caillou. What do you want? I will just get to the point. Why do you misbehave like you do? I do it because it is fun. Also, my dad always grounds me forever. What's the point of being good? Even if I do something slightly wrong, he'd ground me for years. I know what I am doing is wrong but it is like an addiction. For some reason, I always feel angry. It feels like my anger takes over my body. I want to stop but I can't. An addiction, eh? You definitely have anger issues, and you are addicted to doing bad things. Here are some tips. Always think before you speak, don't hold a grudge, count to ten, take deep breaths, stretch, and listen to some music. I'll try out your advice. Your alternative school classes will teach you more about improving your behavior. You definitely need to improve your behavior, because if you don't then your crimes will be on your permanent record. I will prescribe you some medication, and that will help you. Okay. How did your talk with the therapist go? It went fine. 
she gave me tips and she prescribed me medications. I try to control my anger but it's like it takes over my body. It's an addiction and I am trying to stop. The therapist scolded me about grounding you for an absurd amount of time. That's the freaking problem dad. You ground me for a long time and you don't let me regain your trust. I just gave up. Now I like doing bad things. Please calm down. I know what your mom and I did was stupid. We both need to improve our behavior. Still, burning down the school was awful. I know. It's like my anger takes over and I see red and do bad things sometimes. It takes time Caillou. It'll take a while to regain your mom and I's trust, but I believe in your Caillou. We will try not to ground you for years and reasonably discipline you. I will go hang out with James Johnson for a little bit. See you later. I definitely need to change. Happy Friday Caillou. During this past two weeks, your behavior is somewhat improving. I am proud of you. Of course you are having a few anger outbursts, but not nearly as bad as the things that you did in the past. Thanks Sarah. You're welcome. Now, we will review different ways to manage your anger, and other things you've learned this week. Then you will do your school work such as maths, English, etc. I have to say. I am quite impressed on how much progress you've done during these past two weeks. You still have a long way to go, but you are making tremendous progress. Also, I am going to try out different ways to discipline you instead of my past idiotic ways. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Also, once you make more progress, then you can go to restaurants and stores more often. Let's go home. I finally got a new F-150 truck because the engine exploded and fell out of my old one. Caillou. We are having spaghetti, breadsticks, and salads for dinner. I don't want that crappy food instead I want McDonald's. Stop throwing a tantrum or you are grounded for 840,283,921,037 years. I forgot that isn't a good idea. I will send you to your room and take away your Xbox for a week if you keep doing this. You need to take deep breaths and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sorry about the outburst. I will ask, may we have McDonald's instead of spaghetti, breadsticks, and salads? No. Besides, McDonald's is closed because it got storm damage. Okay, whatever you say. Good morning Caillou. I hope you had a good weekend. First we will learn about sympathy versus empathy. Empathy means experiencing someone else's feelings. It required an emotional component of really feeling what the other person is feeling. Sympathy means understanding someone else's suffering. It keeps more distance. So, take out your notebook and write down the notes. Okay Sarah. I thought it meant the same things. I didn't know they are different things. You learned something new today then. Next week, we will have another session with the therapist. How is the classes going? It's going good. I am learning new things. Since you are making progress, you can watch some SpongeBob on TV. Yay. Ooh. SpongeBob isn't on today. Caillou. You thrown the glass of water on the wall and broke it. You are grounded for the rest of the day. Remember, do the therapist's advice on controlling your anger by taking deep breaths, counting to ten, etc.
Sorry, Dad. I know you're trying to controlling your anger, and you are doing quite well. You aren't burning down schools and stealing cars and causing chaos throughout the city. Now please go upstairs while I clean up the broken glass. Okay, Pops. May I play video games on the PS4? I want to play Forza Horizon 4. No, Caillou. I am watching Price is Right. I hate that show. Let's make a deal and Wheel of Fortune is better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry about that, Mom. I will ask later. I will eat some eggs. I am glad you calmed down. All right. This is the last day of school until September. Although you had numerous outbursts, your behavior is improving. At this rate, by ninth grade you can actually go to high school. I am trying my best. Make sure you keep in contact with me so I can see your progress. All right, Sarah. All right. We are going to Dr. Lopez, so we can talk. All right. Hello, Mr. Anderson. How has the past five months been? It's doing better than I thought. Even though Caillou is still having numerous outbursts, his behavior is improving. He is controlling his anger better than before. Although when we first started seeing you, he threw a water glass at the wall and broke it and he threw an egg carton on the floor and broke all of the eggs. He just yells rather than committing crimes so that's better. Does he still break things? He hasn't broke anything within the past two months. He just mainly yells curse words when he gets mad, so him not committing crimes is a start. His teacher said that him improving at this rate, he may actually go to high school rather than an alternative school. Has he been taking his medicines? Yeah, but occasionally he forgets. You need to make sure that he takes his medications every day, because it is important. All right. Also, are you still grounding him for six, seven, two, eight, five, six, eight, nine, etc. years? I don't do it anymore. I discipline him using your recommended methods instead. Good. May I talk to Caillou now? Yeah. Hello, Dr. Lopez. Hello, Caillou. How are you? I am doing great. My behavior is improving. Great. Caillou. Do you think that you can handle going to a restaurant with me? I think so. All right. We are going to Jim's Burgers. I like that restaurant. Good. Let's go. I really like metal music now. I should have gave it a chance. This song is Sweating Bullets by Megadeth. It's a good song. I agree. Yay. We are here. Let's go into the restaurant. Hello, my name is Tanim Seif. May I take your order? Yes. I'd like to have a quarter pounder with a large fry and a large Dr. Pepper. Caillou would like to have a bacon double cheeseburger special with medium chili cheese fries and a medium Coca-Cola. Unfortunately, we don't have a bacon double cheeseburger special because it was a limited edition burger. However, we have a regular cheeseburger instead. It will cost $12.56. By the way, nice Ford Raptor truck. Unfortunately, there wasn't a bacon double cheeseburger special. I got you a regular cheeseburger instead. I am sorry Caillou.
It's fine. I'll eat that instead. I like the chili cheese fries more anyway. Oh, okay. I am planning on growing my hair. I am getting kinda tired of being bald. Alright. That's a great idea. Alright, Kayla and Boris. Here is your food. Enjoy. Thank you, Tanim Seif. Here is the money. Have a good day. The burger didn't taste that bad. I am glad you liked it. Great job, Caillou. You finally went to a restaurant without causing any incidents. You can watch some TV downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am very proud of how far you have come in around six months. It is September now, and you're starting seeing Dr. Lopez and the school in February. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Hello, Caillou. Welcome back. I heard that you've been good for the most part during summer break. I have. I went to Jim's Burgers with my dad without causing an incident like destroying the restaurant and cursing at the waiter. I also went to the clothing store with my mom without an incident. Even though I was irritated the whole time and mumbling not so nice words about the store under my breath, I didn't do any bad things. Also, I am going to grow my hair and change my clothing a little bit. Great job. I am very proud of you. You came a long way. Today, you will learn about preparing for your future. Alright. You are probably wondering why I look different. Well, I reached puberty, and my voice got deeper. I also grew my hair and changed my outfit. Anyway, today is Christmas Eve. It is almost 2022. Some things has changed within three plus months. My dad got a raise at work. So we got a new TV, my mom got a new Audi car, Rosie got a new bed and a wardrobe, and I got a new bed also and I got my room repainted. Other than that, most things stayed the same. I still go to the alternative school and see Dr. Lopez. I hope I get good Christmas presents and not coals. Caillou. It's time for bed. Christmas is tomorrow and Santa is coming tonight. Alright. I will put my pajamas on and go to bed. Good night, Pops. Good night. I will go to sleep. Merry Christmas, Caillou and Rosie. Let's open presents. Yay. I got a Xbox Series X, the new iPhone, a MacBook and AirPods. Thank you, Santa Claus. I will open my present. Yay. Yay 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 yo 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 yo. I got a new Gibson Les Paul classic guitar. Yay 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 yay. I got a new iPad. I will open my presents. Yay 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 yo. I finally didn't get coals. I got the new Forza Horizon game, a new 4K TV for my bedroom, and a new iPhone. Thank you Santa Claus. Great job Caillou. Since your behavior significantly improved, Santa decided to give you presents instead of coals. I am very happy. Since this is June 1st, 2022, this is your last day of alternative school. Next year, you will go to high school for 9th grade. Congratulations. Boris called and told me that after school, you will visit Dr. Lopez. Yay. Yeah. I am going back to school. I can make more friends and hopefully Leo will be my friend again. Now, we will review what you've learned this year. Hello Dr. Lopez. Hello Boris. How are you? I am doing well, you? I am doing great. How is Caillou? Caillou is doing very amazing. 
He passed the 8th grade in the alternative school, and he is going to high school in early September. He grew his hair. He hasn't broken anything or cursed at me, his mom or sister. Overall, his behavior has tremendously improved. Are you still grounding him for 3, 5, 8, 9, 1, 3, 4 years? No. I discipline him reasonably using the methods that you recommended. Good. May I talk to Caillou? Yes. Hello, Dr. Lopez. How are you? I am doing well. How is your behavior? I had no outbursts since Christmas of 2021. I only got frustrated. I passed 8th grade and I am finally going back to public school for 9th grade. I also grew my hair and changed my outfit. That's amazing. How old are you now? I am 14. Nice. I decided what I am going to do. I will apologize about my past behaviors to my mom, dad, Rosie, and to grandma and grandpa. When school starts back, then I will apologize to Leo and others. Hopefully they will forgive me, if they don't then I understand. Hey Caillou. What is it? I am sorry for doing all of the bad things that I have done in the past. I really regret those things and I am trying to become a better person and son. I forgive you. You have come a long way. I believe in you Caillou. Thank you mom. Dad. I have something to say. What is it Caillou? I am sorry for all of the bad things that I've done in the past. I really regret it. You will forgive me? Caillou. I have already forgiven you a while ago. You proved to us that you changed for the better. Thanks Pops. No problem. Hey Caillou. What's up? I am sorry for doing bad things in the past. I regret it and I sincerely apologize for my bad actions. Can you please forgive me? Do you promise that you won't become a criminal and a delinquent again? Yeah. I promise. Then I forgive you. Thanks, Rosie. Hello, Kayla. I am sorry for doing the bad things that I've did in the past. I regret it and I apologize. I forgive you. I heard that your behaviors are improving very well. I will put your grandpa on the phone. Hello, Caillou. I heard that your behavior is a lot better now. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I am sorry about all of the bad things I have done in the past. I regret it a lot. I forgive you. Keep it up. I have to go now. Goodbye. Caillou and Rosie. We are going to the beach in Florida. Since it'll take three days to drive from Plotagon City, Ohio to Pensacola, we are booking a flight. When we arrive at the town, we will rent a car and go to the resort. Yeah, 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 you. We are going to the beach. We are so excited. Let's pack our suitcases, phones, towels, sunscreens etc. and put it into the truck so we can go to the airport. Okay, Pops. Do you want to get some food? I am hungry. No, Caillou. I am going to sleep while I listen to pop music. Okay, Rosie. I will get a drink, cookies, and a cake. Hello. My name is Hero Brian. We have all different kinds of food such as cookies, drinks, crackers, cheez-its, pretzels, donuts, cheese, strawberries, apples, etc. I'd like to have cookies, a Pepsi, and a cake please. I am sorry sir, but we don't have cakes here. It's okay I'd like to have cheez-its instead. Alright. Here is your food that you wanted. Have a good day sir and enjoy your flight to Pensacola. Thank you. You're welcome. Great job behaving when Hero O'Brien said that cakes weren't available. You're welcome. Cheez-Its are delicious too. 
I will watch the Finding Nemo movie. Okay. Yay. We are here. Let's have some fun at the beach. I want a margarita. It's very nice going to the beach not worrying about Caillou misbehaving and ruining the trip. I agree. Also these margaritas taste amazing. I want another one. Caillou is doing great job surfing over there. Whoa. His surfing is great. Look at me. I just surfed on a big wave. You should try it Rosie. No Caillou. I am making sand castles. Oh my god. There's a shark swimming around your surfboard. Uh, hey, that's a nice sand castle. Thanks, Caillou. I worked very hard on it. It's the best one I've ever made. You're welcome. Great job. Great job, Caillou. Your behavior on the trip to Pensacola was fantastic. I bought you a new video game for your Xbox Series X. Yay. Thank you, Dad. I will play my new game. This game is awesome. I always wanted it. I cannot believe that you are finally a high schooler. You are going back to public school. I will be on best behavior, I promise. Good. Now, let's go to the school. Very soon, I'll teach you how to drive. Since your birthday is in 21 days, I can teach you the basics very soon. Yay! I will finally learn how to drive a car. Woohoo! We are here. Now, go in. Bye, Dad. Bye, Caillou. Wow, this school is huge. I need to go to my class. I have my schedule. I need to go to Mrs. Green's class. Excuse me, Fairy Tale Fanatic 2001. Where is Mrs. Green's class? When you turn left, you will see her class. Thank you. No problem. Good morning, Caillou Anderson. Welcome to the Plotagon City High School. I am Mrs. Green, your homeroom history teacher. Hello, Mrs. Green. Where do I sit? You can sit next to Lincoln Wilson. He is in front of Leo Smith and Lynn Loud. Okay, thank you. Hello, Lincoln. Do you remember me? My name is Caillou. I can't say that I remember you. My name is Lincoln, Lincoln Wilson. I like video games, DC and Marvel comics, cars, and more. I like learning different languages, comic books, video games, cars, and playing guitar. It's nice that we have some things in common. Do you want to be friends? Sure. Whoa. Caillou finally came back. I really hope he changed his behavior. If he did then I can become his friend again. Leo. Who is Caillou? Is he a new student? Lin. Caillou was a troublemaker who did a lot of bad things when he was in elementary school and middle school. He got expelled and went to an alternative school. My mom made me quit being his friend. He burned down the school once and poisoned the school's lunch food. I swear if he does this bullcrap again then I will beat him to a pulp. Please calm down Lin, that alternative school has a 0% failure rate so I am almost certain that he changed. Oh okay. Hey Caillou. Um. I'll just get to the point. Are you still a troublemaker or not? No Leo. I am not a troublemaker anymore, since I see a therapist and I went to an alternative school. How have you been during these past two years? Well, I've been doing fine. Although Clementine, Lynn, and Jeffrey went to a different high school. I still talk to them on social media like Discord and Instagram. Sarah moved to Montreal, Quebec. I've made new friends such as Lincoln Wilson, Julie, Bill, and Harold in 8th grade before Clementine, Jason, and Jeffrey moved away. You should meet them. 
Can we be friends again? Sure. Rosie, how is your report card? I got a B in math, an A in English, an A in gym, a C in history, a B in science, and a B in reading. Great job. Although you need to improve your history grade. Okay, Dad. Caillou, how is your report card? I have an A in math, an A in English, an A in gym, an A in the beat club, a B in history, an A in biology, and a B in Spanish. Great job, Caillou. Since you got all A's and B's, you can go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Yeah, 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 you. Chuck E. Cheese's, here I come. <laughs>